Um, so the new album, Undeniable, uh, first off, crushes. I oh, love you. it. Thank I you, love you, it. You. It stays exactly on track with what you guys do, which is just kick ass. Yep. And uh, but you have a new track on there where you actually cover Phil Collins. I don't care anymore. Right. And you used a old guitar track from 14 years ago with Vinnie Paul and uh, Dimebag Daryl, the late great Dimebag Daryl. The question I have for you is, when you heard that, was that an emotional thing for everyone in the band? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it came, it came from just, I mean, it was so weird. I was, I was what I call in the oven, uh, which is a very small, dark room, writing lyrics. And those guys were like in the live room having a blast, probably parties, probably chicks jumping out of cakes, you know, <laughs> keep the singer in the, eh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, shut you know, up, artist. Keep him over there, you know, <laughs> writing the content, you know, that everybody's gonna, t you know, tap into. But, uh, you know, and, and Christian just brought up, you know, would it be, uh, how, how cool would it be to do I Don't Care anymore? Mm -hmm. You know, and Vinny's just like, me and my brother recorded that 14 no years ago. And then all of a sudden, it's his cycle that starts. But yeah, you know, Vinny, me and Vinny gets on the phone to Sterling. He's like what, a dear friend of ours. He's engineered some, uh, he engineered some Pantera records. He engineered some uh, Hell Yeah records. Gets on the phone with him and, and Pantera probably has five warehouses full of things that shoot fire. Right. So um, he's like, do you think you can, you know, allocate and locate that, that, uh, that, uh, that, Track. That, that track that you know whatever format it was out how much of the track that we had because we thought we might just be peppering little bits of him through it mm -hmm. and then um, you know whatever we could recover and then uh, it turns out that we got the whole track you know we got a new unit we got it off there somehow they uh, converted it into a uh, into a Pro Tools file um, you know so it's literally start to finish it's dime playing guitar on it which that tone is just of course his tone was just so unmistakable, unmistakable. exactly great word and and uh you could really feel the energy and i mean so i go in and kevin's got me all stoked to do this right right so we go in there we sit down you know and i like i kind of sit up on top of this stool kind of sit on the back of it like a little perch like a gargoyle when i sing and he's at the mic all place and he's like okay are you ready you know are you ready to do this and i mean he's so stoked for it i'm just like why is this guy so stoked for it but he was just he's just like i just know you're gonna crush this right just the emotion of it and everything like that so as he's walking out he shuts the lights off of the studio and i'm like look at him I'm like it's a deal he's like set in the mood man <laughs> set in the mood and i start singing the lines and it's just whatever the timbre of my voice was that day or whatever it was just like really awesome and perfect in a very non-perfect way it was sort of it's kind of awesome and he's just got his head down and he's just and he just comes up and he just hits the talk back and he's like dude you're going to be singing this song for the rest of your life yeah